Aside from our previous video, there is still some information you need to know about English Lop. Supplies and Cages An English Lop is known as a healthy breed and is not affected by any specific disease. Just like most captive breeds, the most common conditions that the English Lop may be affected with are pests such as mites, ticks, and fleas. These are naturally found in their environment. If you have two large rabbits, double this space. Don't overlook the size and make sure that your rabbits have enough space to play, eat and sleep. Meanwhile, this breed is not immune to common rabbit diseases. You must monitor your rabbit's health and temperament because any weird behavior can be due to an illness. So, as early as possible, take your pet rabbit to the vet for vaccinations. A vet will also conduct tests to assess the overall health and development of your rabbit. Young rabbits also have sensitive digestive systems and, therefore, may be prone to different health conditions of the digestive system such as enteritis, bloat, and stasis. If you suspect digestive system problems, take your pet to the vet at once. Watch out for ear or fur parasites. The most common parasites that affect rabbits are mites, fleas, and ticks. Usually, rabbits with these parasites have poor hygiene and are kept in dirty and unkempt enclosures. Another very important part of the health care of rabbits is deworming. Your English lop must be treated for worms at least once a year and should be done during springtime and fall. All rabbit breeds must be dewormed. This is easily done by using a pea-sized amount of deworming paste. Put this in the rabbit's mouth, and this will lick and swallow the medication until it's gone. You should follow the dose according to the product container for the best results. Consult your vet for the best brand of deworming paste for your pet. Be a cautious pet owner by monitoring your rabbit for any signs of illness such as poor appetite, nasal and eye discharges, diarrhea, constipation, and vomiting. Be mindful of other unusual symptoms like an unsteady gait, restlessness, grating of the teeth, and sleeping longer hours because these could be signs of a serious medical or health condition. Dental care. An English lop's teeth will continue to grow, and sometimes, their teeth can grow to extreme lengths that can pierce their mouths and gums. This can cause extreme pain and discomfort for a rabbit. Therefore, it's your job to monitor your rabbit's teeth as well. You can help your rabbit keep its teeth short by offering hay. This files down the rabbit's teeth naturally as it chews. You may also place pieces of wood, wooden baskets, or other cage accessories that can file a rabbit's teeth. You must diligently monitor your rabbit's dental health to save on expensive dental bills. Spaying or neutering. Be a responsible pet owner and control the rabbit population by spaying and neutering your pet. Do you know that if you overlook rabbit populations, you may end up having a lot of rabbits in just a year? Rabbits can become pests in homes, gardens, and farms, and this is why spaying and neutering should be done for all rabbit pets. Some veterinarians wait until the rabbits are six months old to spay or neuter them. Bucks are also neutered at a young age because experts say that this reduces aggression. Some vets may perform the procedure as early as three months. Consult your vet for any questions about spaying and neutering and concerns about post-operative care for your pet. Grooming English lops have short to moderately short coats. Brush the fur to keep it clean, shiny, and free from pests. Use a small brush at least once or twice a week. Also, grooming should be done more frequently during their molting period. This will prevent wool blocks and will keep the rabbit from ingesting their fur. Fur cannot be digested, and this can accumulate in the digestive tract causing blockage and other complications. Regular brushing can avoid these complications. Trim your rabbit's nails regularly and check its mouth for overgrown teeth. You may ask the vet to do this for you if you don't have tools for cutting or if you're not comfortable with cutting the rabbit's nails and checking its mouth. English lops are herbivorous, and this means that these will only eat plants. These will eat plant parts such as roots, bark, seeds, weeds, flowers, and leaves, and in captivity, these will eat commercially prepared rabbit food or pellets, fruits, and vegetables. English lops can eat fruits and vegetables. You may also feed your English lops commercially prepared pellets or rabbit food, which contain vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients your pets need. English lops will eat their poop because these still have nutrients in them. And after eating their poop once, they won't do it the second time. You can prevent this by removing their droppings as soon as they poop. You can stop a rabbit from eating poop by removing the poop right away, but of course, you can't watch your rabbits all day. No matter what, these animals will still eat their dropping because this still has nutrients in them. You can keep an English lop as a pet because it is docile, calm, and sweet. It is a good pet for families even for families that have small children because it's easy to train and will remain calm even when held by someone new to petting rabbits. If you want to take care of English lops, put the kits in a comfortable and warm enclosure. Feed these rabbits soft pureed food and keep these safe from predators and also from your house cat or pet dog. 
You may allow a rabbit to stay indoors but only under constant supervision. You can use a portable perimeter fence to protect areas that the rabbit can't go. Take note that you have to rabbit proof your home first before you let your rabbits lose. Rabbits like the English lop are not carnivorous and are herbivores, which means that these won't eat meat. It will only eat the plants or plant parts such as leaves, flowers, twigs, stems, seeds and roots. English lops are not endangered. The English lop breed is available from local and international breeders as well as in pet shops and also in human homes as pets. You can keep two or more rabbits in one cage as long as their cage is large to keep the number of rabbits you intend to have as pets. Take note that the cage should be large, comfortable, and safe so your pets can comfortably stay inside it. You can place a rabbit's cage indoors or outdoors, understand the pros and cons of each. You may place the cage indoors to protect it from the elements, but most indoor enclosures are small and may not be enough for a large, adult English lop more so two or more rabbits. When you place your cage outdoors, the rabbits may need to bear the cold and even the hot sun, but at least they will have a large area for playing, running, and socializing. Rabbits may stay out in the cold and survive by foraging food that's found under the snow. Rabbits will use their short legs to dig out of the snow and eat roots, shrubs, berries, and many more. A pet English lop may be allowed to stay outdoors but under constant supervision, and you must rabbit-proof your yard first. A portable perimeter fencing is a good way to limit the area where your pet can run and roam around. Bury the poles of the fence to prevent the rabbit from digging out and escaping. When the teeth of the rabbit grow longer, these can pierce the mouth and gums, causing extreme pain, and this can affect its appetite and temperament. This is why your pet rabbit must see a dentist regularly. You can also help by feeding it hay since this can grind their teeth shorter as the animal chews. English lop bites and the bite of all rabbits are dangerous because of rabies. Also, rabbit teeth are huge and this can tear off the flesh, which can lead to an infected open wound when not treated at once. English lops may become territorial when these are kept in a small enclosure. Males can develop aggressive behavior and may be threatened with other males, especially in the breeding season. These rabbits can bite, scratch, and kick their opponents to establish hierarchy. Some rabbit species can eat their young. Breeders are still looking for answers as to why the mother does this, but if you spot the mother English lop eating her young, remove it from the nest and don't let it breed again. Some rabbits are very skittish and don't want to be held by young children and by inexperienced handlers. Some rabbits are calm, docile, and friendly and will love to be held and petted even by young children. So choose a calm and docile breed if you have young children in your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.